Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and we are gonna be making this simple but gorgeous cake topper in design space today. Uh, so anyway, if you haven't subscribed already, please do, I totally appreciate all the support. All right, so let's get to this. This is, I mean, I feel like it's such a simple and beautiful cake topper. It's so easy to do, it's just a bunch of clean layers. If you look at all of this, there really isn't any offsets really. Um, we have a bunch of leaves and just layers of those leaves and making sure that between each layer, so, um, not that they will all have foam, like a foamy or foam tape. Um, some of these are gonna be flat because you need some flat, some with space so that you have this layered file. But if you look at this, this is all just a bunch of leaves, right? A bunch of leaves wild one and then a um, print and cut image so let's go find the print and cut image first and i'm gonna go to and i forgot i should have looked this up but i totally forgot to do that let's go to my download so that i can find you this file so this file is super super cute and where are you it's got to be in here because oh my gosh oh there it is so it's called the Wild One Safari. And um, you download it, upload it into Design Space. Now you can see the only thing that I changed is I got rid of Wild One. So this is what it looks like. Um, I just wanted my own font, but this image is adorable. So it's from Creative Fabrica. I'm gonna make sure that you have the link to it in the description, okay? So when we go into Design Space, this is what we're gonna do, okay. I'm gonna move all this over here. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like, okay? So here it is. And actually what I did was when I uploaded it, I got rid of the word wild one. So let's go and try to do it again. Um, I am going to upload image and let's see if I can find it. <laughs> let's go to downloads because I have been doing so many different things, let's see. Could it be one of these? No, this is before that. Oh, here we go. Okay, here's the wild one. I'm gonna open it up. I did complex, hit continue. And then here what I did was I basically took the eraser and you can select the size of your eraser. Okay, that's how big your circle is. So I'm gonna put it just right in the middle, maybe 53, okay, that's what I'm doing. So you see, I'm just getting rid of this. You could easily slice it out in design space, but um, because it's not that close to the image, I'm just gonna do it this way. Apply and continue. Here is my print and cut image and upload. You wanna make sure you change that name so that you can find it again. Did I? Yeah. So here it is. Uh, oops. And we're going to add to canvas. Now, it, I mean, gosh, this is so stinking cute, right? So what I did was, let's do um, an offset. Well, first, um, yeah, let's do the offset. So I'm gonna do 0 0.05. I want just a thin offset. And the reason is I don't want these individual leaves to be cut and that it's so delicate, okay? I want it to be really thin and a nice, um, Almost like, you know, like instead of cutting each leaf, it's gonna cut just around it, like a nice big circle, a nice offset, okay? We're gonna apply. Now, it automatically does it in black. I'm gonna change this. I changed it to like a blue. I want even lighter than that, right? So I'm gonna go to advanced and I'm just going to, actually, Let's do the green. I want like a nice green because I want it to blend into the background and I don't want any stark white uh, to show because you know, with print and thin cut, sometimes you don't always get the cleanest cut from your Cricut machine. And I don't want a big old white thing to stick out because if you look at this, which I'm going to in a second, okay? There is no white. This whole, this yellow, I know it looks crazy right now, but it is the gold foil paper. And so just imagine that this is gold. Everything else is blues and greens. So I don't wanna have a white background and have it look so obvious. So you see, I did this green background and you can grab the two items and align it, center it, 
and group it together so that it always stays and moves with you, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna weld this. Let's see if it lets me weld it. Okay, it does let me weld it. I'm gonna change it from print then cut to basic. I want this to cut, okay? And I did this in any one of these colors here. Let's do it in blue. We're going to now grab these two items, um, arrange, oops, hold on. Let's send this to the back. Now also these little cuts, if you don't want them, let's see, I'm gonna go to contour and I'm gonna hide all. It's gonna get rid of all these little pieces. So I have a solid cut, arrange, send to the back, and then I'm gonna grab these two items align center and um oh, maybe i don't want it centered why does it do that mm, it should have centered it <laughs> let's group it together so basically i've got my sticker right and then now i have something cut in cardstock so that my sticker has something to stick on there and we're going to cut it multiple times and so that we can layer it okay so here is i'm going to make this a little bit smaller so we have it side by side, okay? So we've got that. Let's start looking at some of these leaves. So this leaf, um, let's go and get image info. So this is, it's called the Monstera leaf. So all you're gonna do is go to images and let's look at Monstera. Well, let's type in Monstera and see what we get. I did two different Monstera leaves. I did, or actually three, I did this one, this one, and there was another one. Let's see if I recognize it. And I think I did this one, okay? So I wanted them to look similar. Yeah, so see this one is this right here. This one is this right here. This one is right here. So, um, hold on. This looks funny to me, but let me do this. I group it together. So it goes right there. So now you can kind of see all the leaves that we have, right? So, um, this one, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about a trick that I that I use because I like to layer and I also like to experiment with different colors. And sometimes when I'm designing it here, I don't know all the colors that I'm gonna use. I will pick out colors, but in the end, I still do some tweaks when I physically look at it and see between textures and colors. Sometimes as good as I want to. Be planned out it still doesn't work out that way so I'm gonna show you something that I do just to make this work all right so this we're gonna bring to the front arrange send to the front okay so you can kind of see I'm starting to build it right I'm gonna try to make it look as close to it as possible and sometimes it's just you're gonna make it a little bit smaller you're gonna eye it okay and then this one is this right here. Oops. It's hard to move the leaves. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be right around here. And you can see I'm just sort of this, I'm eyeballing it really. This one I'm going to duplicate and then I'm going to flip and move it over here. And I'm gonna send it to the back. Okay, this one is this right here. So you can see it's starting to look like it, right? This goes right here. Oops, let me bring this one to the front. Um, so this one, oops. I know, it's so hard to move this. I'm gonna duplicate that because that's the one that is in the front. I'm gonna put it like this, okay? This one is gonna go right here. But do you see how it looks different than this? It just doesn't have the stem. So all you need to do is bring in 
a shape and we're going to slice it off. So we're going to make it right around there. We're going to grab these two items and slice. I just don't like the stem that long. We delete all that. This goes right around here. Let's look for this banner. We're going to go into images and search for banner. And you don't have to do anything. I mean, this is just to give you some ideas, right? You can do a different shape banner if you like. Let me bring up the image because I ended up using this as a present to someone. Um, so I don't have the cake topper in front of me anymore. So I'm gonna go off of a picture so that we can I can make sure I find the right one. So let's see if I can find it. Um, not that one I'm still looking here it is I think it's this one no it's not is it this one no it's not it's close though Do -do -do. where are you shoot I might have to look it up I don't see it There's so many different ones to choose from, right? I know. Um, nope, it's not that one. Where are you? Let me see. I'm not recognizing it. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. This one. Yes, we're gonna add it to the canvas. Okay, so I made the outline gold. I made this pale pink. Gonna look like this. This is gonna go to the front. Looking, looking like it, right? Okay, so we've got two more leaves to find. Um, let's look up. Let me just find it down here. Okay, this is one of the leaves. Um, it is this one. Okay, so you have it on the screen right here. M39. CDE627. Okay, it's free. It's with Cricut Access. Okay, so I'm going to add that to Canvas. So that's one. Probably a little bit smaller. Right now, I'm just eyeballing everything. I'm going to size everything later. Arrange, send to the back. There is that one. And then we've got one more leaf and that's it. So let's go find that one. And where are you? It's not that one. This one right here. Okay. Let's go to image info. Okay. This one is M3EC99E92. So you see it right here. You're going to type that in and search. Don't forget the pound sign. Okay. So I want this one add to canvas. And this one I flipped the other way. So I'm going to flip horizontally. Send to the back. So you can see right now it's almost identical, right? Move this down just a little bit. It hides everything. Okay, now the wild one. Okay, this is so stinking cute, right? Um, I don't remember the font exactly. <laughs> so let's go and see. It's Ashley. Okay, so the Ashley font is from Creative Fabrica. I will find it for you, but let's go to text and Okay, so there's wild. Okay. 
and then one. This one, let's see if it will tell me what the actual font is, okay? Um, no, okay, so the way I went and did it was I hit monogram, and it's this one right here. I love this font. I don't know what I, you know, if you had more than four letters, I don't know, but here we go. O N E. And I'm going to add it to canvas. I absolutely love this monogram. It's, it's cute. It's sophisticated. It can be so many different things. Okay. Um, so basically I made this big enough. So it's similar to so it's close, but not touching, okay? So that when I go to do the offset, everything will touch. So now I'm gonna do this and do my offset. And my offset, I'm gonna do maybe at 0 0.10 and see what that looks like. Okay, at 0 0.10, everything touches. I think I'm good, I'm gonna hit apply. Okay, so wild one. The This is gonna be gold. This is gonna be gold. This. The wild, I'm going to weld it, okay? And then I'm gonna change the background to a light blue. Then I'm gonna grab this. So I think I made this even smaller than 0 0.10 because it doesn't, this part doesn't connect. So we can do that. So let's, let's try it again, okay? I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and see if that's what happened. I'm gonna delete that. Grab these two and let's do another offset. Let's do 0 0.07 this time. This is probably closer. See, it looks more similar to this, right? So 0 0.07, all right? So this I'm gonna change to a blue like that. Oh, and I remember now, it did have, okay, so I'm gonna move, let's grab these two and we're gonna group it together for now, okay? So I'm gonna move it to the side. This right here, you see how it looks like it's not connected? And I did this the first time as well. I'm gonna take this and unlock it, okay? I make it skinny and small and bring it down here. I wanna make sure this, the N and the E are welded together. So I'm gonna grab that and weld it. Now I'm gonna put this, let's move, um, arrange send to the back and then line this up again and let's group this together so that it moves as one. And that's pretty much it. So now what we're gonna do is we have all of this, right? This one I ended up making how big? About eight inches. So I'm gonna grab this. Let's also make this, it's very close in size, eight inches, okay? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna just weld it. This is gonna give us a full back piece that everything's gonna sit on top. Technically, we're not gonna see this at all, right? It's Cause look, if I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna send it all the way to the back, you don't even see that piece, right? But that's so all my layers sit on top of it and it's going to be nice and sturdy and just perfect, okay? So now that we've done everything, now you can do the name. The name I did Lemon Crush, I think. So let's do text. I'm gonna go to font. It's also another one from Creative Fabrica. And I'm gonna type in lemon. Oh, maybe I'm gonna type in crush. Oops. Oh, I want system fonts. And I did Sarah. Oh, I didn't do this one. Or did I? Let me look. No, I didn't do this font. But this is not bad either. I don't remember the font that I did. Let me go down and find it. Oh, it's Penguin Poop. <laughs> okay, also from Creative Fabrica. So, um, isn't that funny? Penguin. It's penguin poop. There it is. Okay. So I just, what I ended up doing with this is 
I did not do an offset at all. I just made sure that it fit within here and I hand placed each one of them, each one of the letters. And we are now pretty much done with this cake topper. It's just a lot of layers, but clean cut and just so pretty. I really do wanna remake this. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna delete this one for now, okay? I'm gonna show you how I do it. So basically, what I wanna do is, now that we have it, I'm gonna move all these pieces out, okay? And, oops, I don't know where that little piece came from, but all you have to do is go to contour and let's just get rid of it. Now the other thing while we're in contour is all these little dots, we can get rid of them if we don't want our machine to cut it and you know possibly tear up our pieces. All these little ones I'm gonna get rid of. Okay. All right, but what I want you to do is basically grab all of this and change it to one color. So all you have left is you have the gold of the wild one and the banner. The pink is the, here, so that we're not gonna change. But the reason why we did this is, so when we go to make it, I'm gonna show you, is I pretty much did about three copies of everything, okay? And what will happen is, so you'll have your layers, you'll have your, you know, and this is kind of nice. This one, I probably, I only did two layers, but I had it stacked upon, the one was stacked, the wild was just flat on without the foamy, but it then made it like thicker, so it looked really, really nice. But what I like about this is of each color, and I'm gonna remove this, we don't need three of the background, so I'm gonna hit hide, and let's go to this one again, and we're gonna hide this one. So what's gonna happen is, we're gonna move everything, let's see. And basically, once you trim everything, like, you know, on this one, I'm not gonna want all of these, I'm gonna want just one. And you can make changes to it, but I basically cut all the leaves in each color. I'm gonna do it in a, I think I did it in, give me one second. I did one set of blues, and then I did one, two, three, four, four different greens. A glitter green, um, and the rest were different shades of green. So I'm gonna recut this whole sheet. I'm gonna cut it five times. And that way all my colors are available and I'm ready to go and you can decide afterwards when you're cutting. You do end up wasting, so I'm not saying that there's no waste, but you can use it for other things. You can layer it and use it again for something else. But this will get you to really develop the colors that you like. Once you've created it and you wanna do it over and over again, you'll already know your color, your color scheme. So you don't need to um, basically experiment again and again. So I hope that was helpful. I oh. Last thing, let's go back to the print then cut. Oh, so this is still showing up as a print cut. So let's cancel, and let's get out of here. Okay, this is not print then cut. This layer, oh, these two layers should have been together. Hold on, let's grab these two layers right here and they should be flattened there. Now it's one piece, okay. So when we go to make it, you can see your sticker. I want to show you the sticker. Look at how pretty that sticker is. It's going to be perfect. When we go to continue, what I want you to do is when you send it to the printer, you want to add bleed. It's just going to give you a thicker round. Um, and that way when it cuts, you'll have a little bit of the, of the light blue, light green background. And it's going to look like they're in the jungle and it's going to be perfect. Make sure that you use, so I always do system dialogue, yes, because when I go to print, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna pick your printer, okay? And I'm gonna go to preferences. I wanna change everything to match my paper, and I want it to be the best paper. So um, I'm gonna go and click glossy paper, K, 
okay, I'm gonna go to advanced. I want output to be high quality. Okay, I'm gonna cancel out because I'm not gonna be printing this, but that's what you wanna do and you wanna print, okay? All right, that's all I have. All right, thank you so much. If you have any questions, please let me know. But this was, I mean, I really truly think it's my favorite cake topper to date beating my moving ones and all that good stuff. All right. See you guys next time.